All right, everyone. Going to be doing something a little bit different this time. And, uh, yes, you guys know Sega kind of was a Sega kid. And, uh, believe it or not, I've played the living heck out of this game. <laughs> and it's Dinosaurs for Hire. One player, um, Archie, Lorenzo, Reese. Uh, I'm gonna actually be choosing, or choosing Archie for this one because, well, T-Rex, sunglasses, leather jacket, and a big-ass gun. Um, yeah. Also, Archie has uh, arguably the best jump in the game. Well, not even arguably, he has the best jump in the game. So, yeah, just uh, strap yourselves in for another little less play, and we'll see how long this goes see how much I can weasel out of it. Jump, and there. That's the introductory stage. It's hard to actually do that right. <coughs> Whoa, slight problem with your Genesis's blast processing unit. Slight! Anyway, the real game starts here. Good luck. You'll need it. Yeah, for those of you who can't uh, tell, this is a Contra clone. And uh, since I was a Genesis kid, I didn't really play too much Contra. So, yeah, you can guess how this is going to play out. It's not a very good Contra clone but it is a Contra clone. And uh, whenever I was doing the test play for this earlier, uh, I actually could make it through first stage here without, uh, without dying, which is good. It's just a little bit, uh, a little bit difficult because normally I play as Lorenzo or Archie, but whenever I figured out that uh, this jump is broken, you knew how I had to play as the T-Rex to uh, jump incredibly high. So yeah, it's all about dinosaurs attacking ninjas because ninjas and dinosaurs. I've got nothing other than that. Just ninjas and dinosaurs. That's all the game is, is ninjas and dinosaurs. And that's level one. I'll go through uh, as much of level two as I can, being Subway Part A. And uh, Part... I think we'll save for the second recording. Game has a two-player mode, so... Wow, I am bad at control. Bad at control. Luckily, there's a lot of health items in this level. I didn't show you guys all the intro, but the game actually sucks at playing itself, so... I think I'm doing a little bit better than uh, the intro did. Tons of health items here, and uh, no real reason to go down anymore. And there. Okay, uh, wow, I'm just running through this, and it's not really putting up a fight. Uh, 
there, just jump up there. Yeah, this is why I chose RG because jump is broken. And I'm not jumping that way. Invincibility, awesome. You got invincibility, use it. I needed the help. And I don't think my projectiles can get any bigger. So, uh, yeah. Those are actually probably the most annoying enemies so far. Get those, uh, things. Aside from the guns mounted on the walls, they can shoot you farther than you can see. Yeah, it's been a long while since I've played the game, and uh, it kind of shows, <laughs> because of the difficulty I've been having, basic stuff. Um, not a bad game, just kind of, uh, what was that? Yeah, I was right, they can't really get too much bigger. And there's that, Subway Mid-Boss. Wow. really isn't that hard. I'm making it harder than it is. And now that I'm at the mid-boss, I can actually, uh, kind of just... Oh, there was health over here. Okay, next time jump all the way up and then down, and up, and then down. It's really difficult to get the jumping controls in this game, uh, right. Not some of the worst in history, but... Not even some of the worst I've ever experienced. Yeah, the speed of this guy is, uh, kind of... Should have saved that.
most of the time I ever played this, it was actually with my brother, so... Yeah, okay. Well, sitting when you guys get or me getting my ass kicked all this time, I'm going to end this one here, so uh, good night.